Okay, hands up if you've got these. The Altenew Beautiful Day Stamps and Dies. I have had these for so long. You can see that I've used them well. And I'd packed them away, um, trying to tidy up. And then I found them the other day and I was like, just because they're not current, although I think they're still available, I'll check for you. Um, they're just stunning. They're one of my favourite ones. I absolutely love these. So I'm just going to show you a really simple card, um, layering with the inks and then finishing off with a bit of platinum sparkle. So let me just pop that aside. I've got my Misty. You, you don't have to have um, a... Oh, what are they called? I've forgotten what they're called now. <laughs> Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> a stamping platform <laughs> that's the one. Oh my goodness this is getting bad okay so oh, honestly they're so filthy <laughs> i not even work i think i think they've got hairs although not hairs but fibers from when i probably cleaned them with a cloth that was a bit fibrous okay so cleaned it let's just pop that down there press it to pick it up i probably need some magnets on here so i'm starting with my lightest color this one is sheer butter if you haven't tried catherine paula inks they are so beautiful the colors are amazing don't get me wrong i love the distressings the oxides etc but i've always been a massive fan of these they're just so beautiful okay so let me see if my cunning plan is going to work i only want three of each you see so i've just turned that round leave that in its place and then I've probably not done my paper big enough let's have a look so I still need oh no that's not gonna <clears throat> okay do that I could save myself lots of heartache and just put another bit of card on there but Okay, that should work. Right, so let's just pop that one back there. Give this a little wipe. And then pop that back on the sheet. Now the next colour I'm going to use, so the, you can tell like you go from like the shadow one to the the next biggest one then they gradually sort of get less and less on there let's give this one a wipe because i'm going to have exactly the same problem otherwise can you tell i do these videos quite impromptu i'm like oh quick let's make a video so i don't sit and get myself all organized and set up and i should do really but Okay, that looks fairly good ish do you know what it really doesn't matter if you sort of offset it a little bit i don't think so anyway okay next one i'm going to use is coral cabana And it's at this point I say, oh, I love that, or, oh, <laughs> oh, yes, I love that. I, I wasn't sure, I wasn't sure if these colours were going to work together, but oh my goodness. Do you know, do you know what, though? It's, it's not the colours, it's the actual design of the stamp, where it picks up all those little lines. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous it just 
you know, it, it looks as if it's realistic. I'm just seeing. Yeah, I really shouldn't have done it this way. I don't know why I done it this way. I'm in my lunch hour, so I thought I'd quickly shoot a video. Okay. Oh, that is just... Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so let's just get rid of those. Clean myself up again. I wouldn't mind, but I've got the long phone. <laughs> I've got all these things. I've got the long phone cleaning cloth thing. But it's sitting over there, dry as a bone. Such a numpty. Okay. These stamps are probably thinking, oh, you haven't used us for a long time. Let's just... Okay, so what I am going to do, I'm going to get my trusty... Uh, Tolkien powder and I'm going to put that all over this because these inks although they dry they're dye based ink so they dry fairly quick but they can still be a bit wet so that I don't want them to be wet when I put my embossing powder on let me just get this out of the way a minute I'll just show you a little tip if you sprinkle powder and you can see that's sticking even when I flick it quite hard that's sticking and we don't want that so I'm just gonna get rid of that and then so that tells you that if even if you think it's dry just give it a little test first of all and then you'll know so let me just get my powder Good old Nanny Bimbo. Look, St. Michael's. This is so old. Luxury dusting powder. Obviously, it's not the same powder <laughs> um, as when she had it. But, yeah. Oh, and Nanny Bimbo, sorry. She used to, and this is when it was probably acceptable. Well, obviously acceptable. Um, she used to have a monkey <clears throat> called Bimbo when we were little children. Um and that's why we called her Nanny Bimbo. <laughs> so, okay. So this time I'm going to go in and I'm going to use the wow pad. I mean, this is what I'd class as simple but effective because all the work has come from this. So I'm going to die cut them out now because I've got the, the matching dies. just gonna this is my card base I've just cut it from my wow superior smooth card stock I haven't cut it perfectly I am a perfectionist but <laughs> not today it didn't come out great but but look look at that isn't that just yum now, do I want to put some leaves on there? If I do, I can think to myself, if I grab a pen, and I'll just do a little, little notch there, and a little notch there, so I know now that I can stamp some leaves there. Um, you know what, I might just go solid, I think I'll just go solid, I've got my K2 
Catherine Paula block. And then I'm going to use eucalyptus. I got this out in the anticipation of doing it. So I'm going to go, let's just go sort of there. Obviously, I could have done it in my um, stamping platform. Let's get all that off. And then come there. I love these blocks because they've got like um, a ridge in them. So it just makes them really nice to grip. Okay, see look, I'm, I didn't even stamp it perfectly, but that actually looks really nice. So let's have a little look, see, am I happy with that? Oh, you bet your life I am. That just looks lovely. Do I need a lead? Oh, do I? Oh, here I go. See, look, I've covered most of those ones up. I probably could have come down a bit further. Okay, what I'm going to do now, actually, I think I'll go, should I go under? Let's go like that. And then like that. Right, grab them. Now I'm happy with them. Grab them. Oops. And then I could either go down flat. Um, if I'm posting them, I generally would do that. Or I can just use some of my foam, little foam tabs. And these are doing a couple of things they're actually oops they're mounting them up for me but they're also holding them all together so it's sort of two birds one stone can't remember what way around I had them now is it that way was it like that? I've forgotten. <laughs> I think it was that way, wasn't it? It was like that. Okay. And then, just to finish it off, I'm going to use the sentiment. And this is really sad now because if I wanted to send hugs and happy thoughts, I can't because I've lost that one. I'm absolutely gutted. So I'm going to wish you the most beautiful day. Which isn't a bad thing. Let's just, oops. Get that there. If I just line this up. Oops. I was going to use me Elmer's glue. But I went for the foam pads. Instead. And then, oh, put it up the right way, Marion. And then I'm going to do it in that eucalyptus so it mimics the leaves. don't actually need to do that a second time that's perfect I'm happy with that so I'm just going to trim this down and I'm just going to pop that there so I think I think I use foam pads again so it's just such a quick and simple card the little bit of embossing powder the platinum sparkle just adds that extra dimension on there and just think of the different 
inks that you can use on this, all the different colour combinations. Just beautiful. And I could finish off with a couple of little sequins. Isn't that lovely? Just really simple, but very, very effective. And that's all down to that stamp set. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care. Bye.